welcome back. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I know a lot about minerals and vitamins and food groups and nutrition and how to keep yourself healthy because I don't. I'm not a nutritionalist. I'm somebody that likes to work out, stay active, and I try to eat right, but also I have my moments. What I want to talk about today is the importance of getting sunlight because though I can't comment on the benefits of vitamin D or anything like that, I can talk from experience. And today I had a lot of work. Uh, right from the get-go, I got up, I knew I needed to get a workout in, hit up the gym, came back, immediately got to work. I'm currently trying to get ahead on work because this upcoming weekend I have the Firefly Festival that I'm going to be going to with my friend and my brother. It's something that we're working up to, but before then, I have to defend my thesis proposal. And before any of that, I have homework that is due for the week. Just your typical grad student homework load, which is an absurd amount of reading and an absurd amount of time spent online reading those readings and taking careful notes so to not sound like a moron when discussing these readings in class. I'm getting away from the topic at hand. The bottom line is, there is this idea called internet time. And internet time, uh, I, now I haven't read any articles about this, I probably should do a video that fully explains the processes and cognitive functions that go into the manipulation of time when on the internet. But internet time, as I understand it, is how time moves differently when you're involved with the internet, when you're actively doing something online. Uh, now, we see the same thing happen with books, where you're reading, you're reading, you're reading, and then all of a sudden, boom, it's been four hours, and you have no idea that you've been reading that long. Well, the same thing happens with the internet, and today, I was both reading on the internet, so it was kind of that perfect storm to take me out of reality and warp time as I knew it, because, you know, I thought that I was putting in good work, I was taking good notes, it was all looking good, and then all of a sudden, I looked down... I was exhausted, and it had been four and a half hours. And that's not unheard of, right? People can do stuff, whatever, read, take up four and a half hours in other ways. But for me, that was a lot, and I had been sedentary for a while. I knew I needed to get up. I needed to stretch my legs. That didn't help, though. I was still exhausted. So I took a stroll outside. Now, one of my professors has told me to look for things that charge your batteries. There are things in life that charge your batteries, there are things in life that drain your batteries. For me, something that very much charges my batteries is being outside. So I went outside, took a stroll, got some sunlight, got some of that vitamin D, and I feel more awake than ever. Now, am I going to go right back to reading? Am I going to go right back into that world of internet time? No, not quite yet. I'm going to allow myself a break, might take a nap, might get some food, do all that stuff. But the bottom line is, what I came here to say is, Going outside, getting some sunlight, getting the fresh air, just being outdoors recharged my batteries in a way that a nap or food or caffeine couldn't quite do. So, find what recharges your batteries and make it work. And that's that. That is my personal anecdote for today. Okay, until next time.